guys, uh, we just saw um, Rim Job 2, Attack of the Drones. <laughs> I went down to the Philippines. Yeah. And, um, and man, I put the peen in Philippines. I tell you what. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fill my peen. <laughs> yeah. So I wasn't really sure if she was going to be old enough, but her dad promised me that she was 14, so I was like, cool. Um, he didn't give me the same assurance about her definitely being a chick, yep. but, you know, hashtag who cares? It's the Philippines. Yeah, uh, except you got the knockoff version. Um, you got yourself an Atlantic rim job. Oh, yeah. I Whatever. So this, yeah, this movie was uh, really exciting and not confusing whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, thankfully they let it. Up, they kicked it off with a whole bunch of exposition by Finn. Yeah, he was like talking about. He's like, yeah. Remember the last movie? Yeah, remember the last film, which I forgot about. Um, I liked it, but I, you know, I wasn't thinking about it until he reminded me. And uh, so he's like, so Finn is a hustler, and yeah. he really likes cookies. And but his dad's a hero, and he has to be redeemed. And he's a Chinese sister, which they don't explain at all how they're related till like the end of the movie. Yeah, it's like really confusing the whole time. It's like, what is her relationship? Is she like her half mom? <laughs> so yeah, he's like he's trying to steal the flux capacitor, and yeah. pew pew, um, space gamblers. Except oh. they're not in space, but they're like not gamblers, gangs. Gangs, yeah. And then the police show up, and you see like this mysterious figure run away, and I'm like, dude. I bet you that that's like some big tough dude, some older guy that's like yeah. more experienced. Totally surprised. The most buff dude ever. Yeah. Then, you know, he catches this this mysterious figure in uh, their house and face reveal, totally mind blown. It was some young chick. That's never happened in any movie ever. The reveal yeah. of the ninja is a girl. Yeah, totally didn't see that. Oh, the Especially biker that is a girl. she was just a kid. Yeah, Sam is a girl. No. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, no idea. So Finn's like, hey, I like to party and steal stuff about from robots. And then he meets the girl who makes the robot. And then you can't have a robot anymore. Yeah. You can't do it. Yeah. So the robot police are like, put down your robot. And they get captured. Yeah. Yeah, so he's like, oh, my father was a hero. And yeah. I'm just a loser of a record. I'm a thief. Yeah, he was Ranger Pentecostal. Oh yeah, that guy, my favorite. <laughs> you know, Ranger Pentecostal. <laughs> but then all, the, like a billion characters jump on the screen at once. Yeah, all the kids. Like, all the kids, like, yeah. Like, oh yeah, so they go to the place where the robots live and they're like, hey, here's all the kids, here's all the soldiers, yeah. here's all the Chinese uh, military people who work here. Here's a thousand people. Meet them right yeah, now. Yeah, and all the people that we forgot about from the last movie, remember, like the German guy. Remember, yeah, the doctor man. Yeah. You remember Charlie from It's Always Sunny. Yeah, they're all here. So, you know, we really like the movie, but, you know, I felt like there was a little bit, oh, I hate to say this, a little bit of cliches going on, <gasps> you know? So it was like serious Chinese business were hard workers and then American assistant to the Chinese lady was like oh I'm Charlie from Always Sunny oh, hey, hey and then um and then it's like you meet the kids and the kids are all like different stereotypes oh man I'm totally oh, gonna get some of that Clint Eastwood's action. son was in here playing young Clint Eastwood yeah Clint Eastwood was in the movie it was great he was like, hey, I'm Clint Eastwood's son. Yeah. He can he, tell. And you're talking and like, they come too, which I'm sure he can't help. Yeah. And, he, you know, the sun was in his eyes a few times, so he kind of did like the, the yeah. squinty face, the, the little you, scowl. You guys, where you see like the crow's feet. You tell them to go to the barracks. Hey. Yeah. Go to the barracks. Work as a team, kids. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. Oh, like, I love when uh, Ray, the girl, from. That's what I was thinking yeah, the whole like time. Yeah, it's Ray. It's like. <laughs> This... I wrote Mary Sue down in the notes before you yeah. can see her face. Because Ray, <laughs> Ray was like, she gets to the base where the robots are, but she she made her own robot. And mm -hmm. she, made, she goes, oh my god, it's that kind of robot. It's that robot pilot for this person. It's that robot by oh, that yeah. person. And like, Exposition Junior. Yeah, like, I okay. Little well, Expo and Junior like, Expo. Sorry I'm not a robot nerd. I don't know which one each one is and what their yeah. record is. I was like, it's Gundam Wing, boo. Boo! Um... Yeah, so Finn is a loose, sarcastic character who's quote-unquote funny. Yeah. He's never really funny. I don't, 
And there's a whole extra scene, like, part of the movie where the council is gonna vote. Should they use drones or zords? Oh, yeah, where was the council? I don't remember seeing them. Yeah, and I don't have a race in that horse. I don't really care what they use. Like, who cares? A, a, a zord or a drone? <laughs> Who gives a shit? So, they do. Yeah, so they're talking about that. They're like, hey, we're training these kids because we need them for the next generation of fighters. And then they're like, well, actually, they're just going to be replaced by drones. Yeah. So they go down to Sydney and they're like, hey, here's like Chinese evil corporation. Yeah. They're all serious. They're over serious. Except like, for Charlie. It's zero emotion whatsoever. Yeah, no it's emotion. Like, like, you are doing bad. Super you angry Chinese be, lady. You must be fired now. You're doing bad. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I am yelling. I yeah. am yelling now. I am a serious general man. Yes. Like, I think there was like a riot or something. Or no, there was like a kaiju cult. Yes, they were yes, like, yes. We but worship the kaiju. They killed a whole bunch of people. They're awesome. They're not bad. And the big giant robot goes like from outer space and like lands in front of all the people to like terrorize them. Yeah. Because that's like a really good way to get them on your side is scare the shit out of them and point the giant space cannons at them in front of your then, big shiny then building. Isn't that when... A bad robot shows up? Yeah, bad. Yeah. A bad Zord shows up. Bad like, Zord. He's like, we gotta kill the bad Zord. So Clint Eastwood and Finn and Clint Eastwood, and, right? Yeah, I think they're in there. Yeah, and they're they in fight there. the bad Zord, the bad Zord gets away. Yeah, and it kills uh, the dude's half sister from the first movie. So she's dead, and he's like, oh. And then he like gets out of the Zord, and it's like, fights over, I guess, even though the bad guy was like still kind of running around. Yeah, but oh wait, but in her dream, her dream, she's in um, where they started the movie. They're in Santa Monica. Uh, totally recognize that because I got an HJ underneath the pier there, and I remember that. I got a BJ while sitting between the pier, and I, my my leg was in a hole, huh. and the pier, and then some. She was underneath it. It, it was complicated. Wow, man, you really paint a picture. <laughs> Charlie goes to his apartment yeah he's like and, talking to his cat and he's like hey i'm home honey oh rough day at the office and she goes into his bedroom and in a glass thing is like a big brain floating in a glass tube or something. but it shit. wasn't like it wasn't like a, a mouse brain or a dog brain it was like a big slimy monster brain <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, that must be it then. The inner something runs counterclockwise in the Jaeger. That means it must be made. It's like, what? I learned about this. Hey, I learned about this on Breaking Bad. Oh. It's chorality, 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 chorality. And then we yeah. see why because. Oh, remember, wait, it was first uh, Finn oh. said he wanted to mind meld with his dad. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Why would you want to do that? Then you could see yourself being born. You could know what it's like to like do stuff with your mom. Yeah. Like you would see the inside of your mom's asshole because your dad. No, the drones were uh, the big white, the big white zords. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They so had the, the forty-eight, drones, the forty-eight zords. So the zords are pretty much monsters plus swords. Yeah. So to find out that Charlie has been talking with the brain and now the brain's kind of in him and yeah. it's the precursors which are like the things that precursed or precursors to the the, the monster man's the monster out a left to the jaw and oh my block is knocked off bad the drones the attack of the drones yeah is happening mm -hmm. and charlie's like we'll use this sub connector to go through the fidget lafonda i'm like what what are you saying and he goes i want to <laughs> i want to destroy the world I'm like what the fuck where is this coming from but then the drone's heads explode because q figures it out in like two seconds and then they start to yeah they all explode and die they all, all the drones explode and die and then you see like one of the kaijus gets cut in half and i wrote down my notes i was like oh no they saved the day before the action started <laughs> pretty much the kaijus are like closing in on Japan yeah. and they're like, hey, we got to rebuild these four robots that are the size of skyscrapers. I know this chick, she just got kicked out of the uh, academy, but you know, she made one of those things. It's like the size of like a, a Volkswagen Beetle in like, I don't know how long it took her to make yeah. it, 
but you know she built it so with her help we can build we can rebuild all these uh robots yeah and then we can launch ourselves up into the atmosphere and save the day uh they send the zords to mount fuji because you know we can't have a monster movie without monsters attacking japan mm -hmm. um i wrote down will they form voltron and i said yeah. also zero damage control these fucking um zord guys the good guys are just walking through the streets knocking buildings over yeah it's like they could they could be careful but they had their swords around no just, just cutting see half. like okay i a lot of people say the first movie they had like attention to detail where the zords are like purposefully being careful like very like gingerly like stepping over cars and yeah, bridges yeah, and yeah. stuff and not like kicking over buildings you know unnecessarily and i was like boring Blow that shit up! Yeah. Come on! Yeah. Where's like the, the rage? rage? Use your kids, man. They're all pissed off about their hormones and shit. Fuck hormones. So yeah, they tore shit up in this movie. Yeah, I was happy did. about that. So, so is Clank Free. Clank Free's on his side at the moment, but But then the like those snake things from the Matrix come out of a building. Yeah! And Charlie's like, yeah, it hits his iPad, and then it makes all of the monsters connect into one like that movie where the people are connected from the buttholes to their faces yeah yeah and that was exactly how they did it because like, you see like inside their bodies like their brains are all in line and it was like totally yeah. i think that was actually an intentional reference to um human centipede i love that movie so they want so finn goes put me into the atmosphere yeah so, like, use a rocket and fly me like well you're you're in it. Point is to crash down from the sky and hit this monster. Yeah, like an ICBM. Yeah. So they want to do that. Um, and they want... So because... They want to go to the volcano because it's a Scientology movie, maybe. But that's volcanoes. That's where all the airplanes uh, live. That's where the kaiju go. They go into the volcano. And like they get trapped there. Kaiju spelled backwards is Scientology. So then... Um, they're trying to do that. And then... the. Ray's first robot shows up with uh, one of the people piloting it. Yeah, the rich Chinese lady was driving it. Why? Yeah. Damn, why would you put yourself at risk? She's like a billionaire. Fuck that, you know? Yeah. Maybe she was like, oh, I'm going to be in trouble for making all this stuff that fucked everything up. The drone program, and then those little tiny, um, what the hell things from Matrix. Yeah. Why did she make those? What were they really for if not to make a giant Voltron kaiju? So they stop it and like they fly the machine from the sky and they go and they hit the, the monster man. Yeah. And the monster goes, oh, and it dies. Um, uh. And then there's like extra scene. Where, yeah, the where post credit have, sequence started have, before the credits. Yeah, and then they have Charlie as like a captive because he's bad now. And it said like, and Finn comes in and he goes, you tell that precursor in your head that next time we're coming for them. But this movie is definitely made for overseas sales because it had like every nationality in it. And yeah, that was the all point. all over the world. That was the Dude, point of it. It was like Star Trek. Everybody is from somewhere else. So that was cool. Was I right. really like the movie. Overall, I recommend this movie to children of all ages. I recommend it to children from ages uh, one to three. Yeah. That's it because it's explosions and lights. You know, hashtag Philippine. <laughs> hashtag, what about that bathroom, bro? We left in this bathroom. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, here's the yes. picture. Here's the picture. And there's the bathroom sign that said, women. Yeah. And if I was women, I'd go, nah, no thanks. Yeah, black serial killer Sharpie, capital letters Don't on a white exit here? sign. I'd come in here. I'd come in here. I'd come in this room. I'd come in there. Oh, welcome to the bathroom. I'd come in there. I'm the toilet now. Yeah. Poop on me. Oh, yeah. Pee in me. Pee in me, daddy. <laughs>